Is anyone in our audience getting married anytime soon? No. How? <laughs> How sad. No. Well, uh, you won't have any interest in this, but there's a weird new newlywed trend, and that trend is for couples to go on their honeymoons apart, separately. It's called a solo moon. It's a real thing. They call it a solo moon or a uni moon, or it can also be called a pre-divorce. <laughs> How does that work? The bride drives off in the just married limo, and the groom calls an Uber and goes along on his way. <laughs> Not only are people doing this, they're posting about it on Instagram. These are real posts from real solo moons, which, by the way, should be called oney moons, but whatever. There are hundreds of them online. <laughs> this woman writes, I just want to stay in, I want to stay another week just finding my groove. Hashtag solo moon, hashtag where is my husband? <laughs> <laughs> where is your husband? This might be the worst idea I've ever heard. I'm so, if separate honeymoons sound appealing to you and your fiance, you should probably also consider getting married separately to other people. <laughs> hey, speaking of weddings, this is a video. I don't know if you've seen this, but it's on, uh, online this week. It begins with a song performed by the maid of honor, and then, well, just watch and you'll see what happens then. Water, water. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a, there's a real twist at the end there. It's a, what they call a misdirect. So, needless to say, I wanted to learn more. So we tracked down the bride and the groom and the maid of honor and the best man who survived, by the way. And joining us now from Briar, Washington, say hello to Tiana and Dennis. Oh, look. <laughs> well, first of all, congratulations, Diana and Dennis. When did you get married? Thank you. Um, we got married on August 10th. You got married what? in August? Of last year. Oh, and what took so long to get that video up? Um, well, we just had had a baby, because at the wedding I was 25 weeks pregnant. Ah. Um, so we had the baby, and then life kind of just happened. Did you take solo there. moons, or did you go on a honeymoon <laughs> together? Uh, we went together. We went on a so, mini moon. On a mini so, moon, uh, baby moon. So, Song, <laughs> you're the maid of honor, and at the beginning of the clip, I think we all thought the clip was about you. We were listening to you sing <laughs> when all of a sudden, Justin, what was that song you were singing, by the way? Um, the song was I Get to Love You by Ruel. Okay, and so when you saw Justin hit the ground during the song, what it was kind of the opposite of a standing ovation. What went <laughs> through your mind at that point? Um, well, I didn't know him before, so I thought it was oh. like a weird prank. Oh. And then, and then I thought he was dead. <laughs> so, yeah. I want him to twist things up a bit, you know. Yeah. Have you ever been able to sing a person into unconsciousness before? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sleep. <laughs> Justin, why did you pass out? Were you hungover? Were you drunk? So, no, I wasn't drunk, I oh. wasn't hungover. Um, I just didn't have enough water and the heat, and we had a lot of fires, so a lot of smoke. Uh huh. And, uh, and of course, I locked my knees. Uh huh. Okay. So, and, yeah. <laughs> Dennis, at any point, did you regret picking Justin to be your best man? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I love him. Okay. I still do. <laughs> and when he, you walked off, had you had you wet your pants? Well, let's look at that again. Let's go through. Yeah, let's look at it. Yeah. Oh, now we have the clip. Okay, there he goes down. Really on uh, on hard ground. And J Justin, at what point did you wet your pants in the? Uh... Uh, it it was not. I didn't pee my pants. It was water from when the because my chin split open and yeah. the water on my neck. So I was banging down, hanging down, and. So it totally looks like I peed myself, but yeah. it's okay. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. I'll, I'll go with it. I peed, okay? All right. <laughs> Were there any doctors at the wedding? Uh, yeah, there was an EMT and a firefighter. Oh, that's they, they fortunate. They helped him walk away. They helped, and then you went to the hospital, right? Yeah. Yes. You got actually injured badly. I think we have a oh. photograph of, uh, yeah. <laughs> 
So did the did that get in the way of the best man's speech, or were you able to come back and make it? <laughs> uh, he didn't make it. I had my uh, stepdad. He uh, uh, did his uh, best man's speech for him. Oh, he read your best man's speech. So yeah, was he like, down. like, oh, I remember that time we were hanging out and. <laughs> 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 wow. Now, Song, the reviews of your vocal performance were not kind in the comments section, and you've asked for the opportunity to sing again because you felt like you were not giving it your best. <laughs> what song would you like to do for us tonight here? Um, I'll just sing uh, an original. It's called um, Infinite Heartbreak. An original? Oh, all right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and guys, I'm going to ask you to please try to remain conscious during this performance. <laughs> I can't promise anything. All right, okay. Here we go. Song, take it away. Right. It's hard not to imagine all that we could have been. But all I do oh is my God. imagine. Oh, my God, you guys. I... <laughs> it wasn't me this time. I'm sorry to interrupt, but we have a <laughs> situation here, and, uh... <laughs> We got a man down. You're all right, Guillermo? I think so. Luckily, his mustache gives him a little bit of extra cushion. So uh, thank you all. And again, congratulations on one of the, one of the worst weddings ever, I guess. That's Dennis, Diana, Saul, and Justin. Congratulations on making it to the end of the YouTube video. Why not celebrate by clicking the subscribe button? You earned it.